What's up, y'all? How you doing? This is Nicholas Brown, a.k.a. King Nick Anthony, and I'm here to introduce you guys back to the swamp. And today, I'm going to touch on on something that I feel is, is just wrong, you know? Wrong in, in, on, a, on a few levels, you know? I saw an article of an event that went down a while ago, um, sometime in April, I believe it is, because um, that's the date on the article, so I believe it's around that time, or maybe even sooner. And it says, ex-boxing champ Kashim Uma arrested for a beating man who made gay advances. Now, I'm looking at the article, I read it over, and from what I understand, Uma was just chilling at the bar um, last December. And he was just, now, um, Uma, from what I read, is um, who returned to boxing last December, excuse me, after a two-year absence. He met the unnamed man when he was hanging out at a Hollywood watering hole after, after hours. The man struck up a conversation, and the stranger asked Uma back to his place for drinks, when he then reportedly made unwelcome advances toward the champ. Uma told police investigators that he politely declined the man's several advances but when the stranger made a rough final attempt to keep him from leaving he att he admitted to shoving him police were summoned to the victim's residence and he reportedly had to be transported to a nearby hospital for treatment uma on the other hand was arrested because according to the police he pummeled the victim causing a great number of injuries Kasim the Dream is reportedly still behind bars at that time. I'm going to have to look it up to see if the brother's out. I pray that he is. But um, And I'm going to have this article in, in the descriptions box. I'm going to have the link ready for you guys. But um, what, what, what trips me out about this whole situation is, you know, I mean, if you're gay, so, you know, you know do your thing. You know what I mean? Whatever you choose to do, it's what you choose to do. If, if you're transgendered. Whatever you choose to do is what you choose to do. I mean, <clears throat> I had my own pre prejudices about it back when I was younger. Like middle school years, you know what I mean? Middle school, elementary school years. Just young, dumb, and ignorant, you know what I'm saying? And I even got that a story about that. Um, it's called um, My Last Halloween. My Last Halloween in uh, my book, Dragonflies in the Swamp, where, um, where I sort of break down my prejudices and how I decide to push forward and how I see it now you know what I mean how wrong I was at the time well with that being said uh, after reading this story and thinking about it I'm like dude if you're gay and the person's not gay and they're telling you to stop chill fall back man you're making yourself look thirsty and pathetic and that shit's not cool you overstepping boundaries then when somebody whoop your ass or pull a gun out or, or go ham on you I'm not saying that it's cool to, to kill or, or 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 pummel somebody, but you end up getting your ass whooped for overstepping boundaries, then that's your fault, you know? And about the whole transgender thing, you know, if you're transgendered, if you feel that's what you want to do, all right, so be it, fine. You know, I respect your space, you respect mine, you know? But the thing about it is, or if, if somebody's gay or transgendered and I have a company and, they have, and they're better qualified than anybody else and they can get the job done, okay, I'll hire them because they can get the job done and it's only fair. But the thing that I don't like in terms of social settings or what have you is um, outside of a, a business or work environment is how some transgendered, I ain't saying all but some, they, they try to pull a fast one. Like, they'll get all dressed up all girly and stuff like that. You know, have a guy flirt with them and stuff like that. Next thing you know, the brother ends up in the crying game, and he want to he wanna mess around and kill this person for, for deceiving him in such a way, you know? See, that that's the stuff that I don't like. That's the stuff that I don't like. And some of these um, transgender pe um, people, um, individuals that look female the ones that 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 that, want, that um go out of the way to to be a woman is the thing that scares me is that the surgeries and the pills and and the hormones and everything they've gotten so advanced that 
you can trick a person. You can seriously trick a person. You really got to squint now. You know what I mean? And they have surgeries where they decrease the size of a person's Adam's apple. Man, you don't know what you're going to run into out here. And that, and, and that is what I have a, a bit of an apprehension towards, you know? I don't want to go out to the club. I'm meeting a fine female. She got a fat ass, nice titties, and she looking cute. I'm hollering at her. She got a night, nice, got a nice dress on. Next, do you know? You know, she take the drawers off. She get her and I have the same equipment. I will be highly pissed off and 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 deceived. You know, don't play that trick. Now, to the transgendered people who, if they're talking to somebody and a, and a guy tries to approach him at a bar or something, and and the guy's talking to him and the transgender right then and there says, well, you know, I'm a transgendered individual. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Boom. All right. Cool. All right. I don't swing that way. My bad. I apologize. You have a blessed day. Boom. You keep it pushing. You know what I mean? You keep it pushing. You, you, you know, that, that's fair. You're giving people warning up front. Now, if the guy wants to go that route, hey. Whatever your pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your flavor, neighbor, you know what I mean? Whatever your flavor. But bottom line, you know, give fair warning. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit up there and and, and deceive people, you know? You know, there was this one episode with uh, Jenny Jones or what have you where a guy, it was a secret admirer sh show. This was way back. I, 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 I kind of remember this from way back. This was like what, middle school, high school. And I remember it made the news that a guy bring another guy, a, a gay guy bring a straight guy on the show saying that I'm your secret admirer. The guy, he just went along with it or whatever, but deep down he was extra uncomfortable. But he didn't make it seem like he was uncomfortable. That guy ended up killing the guy on that on, on that Jenny Jones episode. If any of you guys kind of remember this, please, you know, just, just chime in and let me know because I, I, I kind of remember that story. And... The dude killed the guy who brought him on the Secret Admirer show because he, he felt embarrassed. I guess he thought that, damn, the world think I'm gay, too. You know what I'm saying? Now, whether the guy probably did something with the dude or not and, you know, felt so embarrassed that he had to go out and do that, such a heinous act or what have you. But bottom line, you know, you can't just spring that on people. You see what I'm saying? You can't just spring that on people because it's still taboo in a way. Yeah, people are more understanding in terms of um, whatever your sexual preference is. But to spring it on somebody, to surprise them like that, that's that's deceitful. And then if you retaliate back, you get in trouble like the, like the ex-champ right here. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, man, if you're gay, you're homosexual, you do your thing, man. I ain't got nothing against you, baby. If we can go out there and get this money together, if we can go, go out there and, and help communities get better, all right, man, you do your thing, baby, as long as we get together and we make this work, you know? Shoot, if a gay dude is down to go up against, to be like, uh, I'm going to burn down Monsanto or something or something like that. I mean, I ain't saying you got to go out, but, you know, boycott Monsanto and, and get rid of their services and stuff like that. If a gay person is like, forget Monsanto, I'm with you, bruh. I right, cool. We ride for the cause because we ride for the people. You feel me? But if you want to overstep boundaries after I told you, hey, man, I don't swing that ride. I, like, I love females. I love females. You know? Ain't nothing like, ain't nothing like some warm, vaginal, just, ooh, women. Oh, boy, it's, it, man, that area is designed to make a man want to procreate. He might prematurely <laughs> want to. He might prematurely come out or whatever wants to go in, but it's just that good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, hey my, my players and real partners out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but bottom line, you know, if you're gay, man, do your thing. Just just be honest about it. You know, don't deceive people and don't press up on people. Because next thing you know, you want to holler it's a hate. You want to holler hate crime or somebody. Oh. These people are against me, this, that, and the third, when really you just being an asshole. Anyway, y'all chime in, tell me what you think. Dragonflies in the Swamp page, thumbs it up. Please cop the paperback. Um, please look at all, everything's in the descriptions box. The um, sample stories that you want to check out, that, that's in the book. Don't hear this on video, check them out. I'm going to make more because I just finished 
recording the audio book last night we have to add some more bells and whistles to make it perfect but bottom line it is good to go but if you want to get the um, the first edition that's out now go ahead and cop that because i'm going to come up with a second edition as well of the book uh going to fix up all the typos fix up all the grammar mistakes things of that nature get everything ready for that you know come out with the second edition with no typos no grammar um imperfections just everything good to go ready ready to, for sale but if you want to get the first edition now if you get the first edition now pdf or paperback i will hook you up maybe free if, yeah, you know what i will hook you up for free if you get the paperback but if you get the audio book i mean if you get i will hook you up for free if you get the paperback with the audio book if you get the PDF or ebook, then I'll give you the audiobook half off. It's only fair, right? Ebook and PDF half off for the audiobook if you buy it now. If you get the paperback, then I'll give you the audiobook free. Just that simple. And with that being said, I'm out. Y'all chime in, thumbs up, share this, give me your insights, all right? Peace.